this video this is the third time I'm making it and I and I'm starting to think that Google you know you NSA pricks and all you cocksuckers been spying on me illegally let me tell you this let me tell you like this all you people who've been spying on me unconstitutionally illegally and you've been using some George Bush leftovers from the Patriot Act to do so God will judge you so harshly there's no words for it you know I never hurt nobody well I never hurt no innocent people I mean and you know I never did any terrorism anything like that I'm not a terrorist I'm the good guy and they know that <laughs> and that's the problem because they're the bad guy I'm the good guy busting them out they're going through great lengths to silence me only reason we didn't help Libya I mean excuse me the only reason we didn't help Nigeria during the 60s when Vietnam was going on the 10,000 day war when you had Truman Eisenhower Kennedy Johnson Nixon Ford Carter all of them choosing to go ahead and bomb Vietnam and then finally Carter takes us out of Vietnam all those people are choosing to go bomb Vietnam 10,000 days in a row not a single cap gun was bust from an aircraft carrier to help to help our friends in Nigeria to help the Biafrans in Nigeria so so what happened two million Ebos died one million starved one million get shot you know something like that and America didn't save them. The UK gave you know inspired them to have a revolution. Everyone saw that the, the the MI6 and you know all these kind of CIA kind of operatives were there prior to the to the Ebos throwing a coup. So they set up the coup. I almost have no doubt in my mind that they convinced the Ebos that it was okay to throw a coup, that they would be able to pull it off, and that they would be recognized as a government if they did pull it off. And so they, they took their word for it and got slaughtered, and America didn't lift a finger to help them. They just kept slaughtering and torturing and raping innocent Vietnamese. And the reason they didn't help them is because they're black. The reason why they're helping Libya is because they're Berber and Indo-European. Okay? Simple as that. It's the same reason they deny black Egypt. The same reason they don't care about Sudan and Nubia. It's the same thing. Racism. It's what it's called. Racism on a political level which affects the lives of good minorities every single day. And oh, they say we're complaining. Oh, they say we're whining. They say, oh, racism doesn't exist. It, we will only help the white, the few white people in Africa and let all the blacks starve and die. But racism doesn't exist, right? It exists. The scumbags are the ones that are pushing it. And, and for, for the sake, you know, I bought this, this hooded sweatshirt, this white hooded sweatshirt, to show you that I'm not some racist guy who walks around wearing black all day. <laughs> no, I'm the good guy who's just trying to tell you the truth, okay? They're the racist guys who walk around wearing white all day, <laughs> okay? And white hoods at night. 